Awesome, uh, folks. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, I hope your day is going well. So first up, we're going to talk, have a brief introduction around uh, alphanumeric, and then we're going to talk about some of the features and functionality, some of the, the drawbacks, some of the benefits. Um, the, so a little bit of history. Uh, the first text message, first SMS message was sent over the Vodafone GSM network in the United Kingdom using a personal computer in 1993, the beginning of 1993. Uh, early adoption, in early adoption, many European carriers allowed the ability to change the SMS settings so that you could override the sender ID. Uh, this was early adoption and it support, the early adoption supported uh, the alphanumeric, it's known as alphanumeric sender ID as it's known today. Uh, US and Canada carriers, uh, their SMSC, so the SMS centers that actually manage the, uh, the switching and the routing of SMS messages. Uh, didn't adopt this ability to change the sender IDs, be, mainly because of fraud prevention. They didn't want, uh, they wanted uh, a single sender to, assigned to a single handset, and they didn't want the ability to change the sender ID because of fraud. Today, alphanumeric sender IDs are supported in 190 countries. Its adoption is quite high on a global scale due, its, due to its flexibility, as kind of Brad mentioned. Its support for various features like handset delivery receipts, notifying the sender that the message is received. Um, and so with that, I'm gonna talk about why you would use alphanumeric sender IDs. Um, all right, so let's go through the brand benefits first, and then we'll go through the consumer benefits. High throughput, similar to using a dedicated short code, using an alphanumeric sender ID, you get high throughput, up to 60,000 messages a minute using telnames by default. The standard as it's defined itself has no documented limit. So a lot of mobile operators can actually far exceed that limit. Um, but again, Telnix employs a, a limit just, just to stay compliant with most carriers. Um, generally, there's no registration costs. That said, some countries do require you to register an alphanumeric sender ID directly with the mobile operator. India is a great example of that. Uh, carriers could change the policies in the future so that you, they will charge for registration costs, but um, for registration, you do require the ability for countries like India, for example, you do have to register directly with mobile operators. True handset delivery. So handset delivery seats, notifying the sender that the message is received, alphanumeric sender IDs do support that. In countries where alphanumeric sender ID isn't supported, Telnix will handle the routing and adjustment to a different sender ID automatically. So again, it's very flexible and Telnix makes it very easy to use uh, from, a brand, from a brand consumer. Now let's go into the consumer benefits. Um, it's highly recognizable. It's a, it's a, you can use a, a, number, a combination of letters and numbers uh, up to between six to 11 characters, depending on the country. If you're looking at countries like the UK, you can use up to 11 characters. If you are sending uh, messages to India, then you can use only a maximum of six characters. You can register a sender ID and you can use only a maximum of six characters. Uh, so it's very flexible and it's very recognizable because it's, uh, it's a combination of letters and, and numbers. So you can use your own brand, you know, your own company brand or uh, 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 an alternative version of that or shortened version of your brand, brand name to send those messages out. A single ID can be used to send to multiple countries. So if, uh, again, my advice here is to, to keep to the, the, the smaller half uh, or the lower end of the limit of six characters if you're sending globally, but if you're sending to like UK, Australia, uh, or a, a, a subset of European countries, then you can go up to 11 characters and just keep that same sender ID across all those characters, uh, across all those countries. And again, it could be received around the world. Great, uh, next slide. So drawbacks for the brand, uh, it's not supported in the US and Canada as Simon kind of kind of alluded to in the poll. Uh, some countries do require pre-registration. Uh, India is a great example of that. And in, in some situations, pre-registration needs to be done with the mobile operators directly. India is an example of that. You have to actually, uh, you as the person that's registering for the sender ID, you have to actually reach out to the different mobile operators in India, and you have to ask them uh, to register the alphanumeric sender ID on your behalf. Uh, we will we'll help you and assist you with all the forms that you need to fill out for that. But again, it would be you reaching out to the mobile operators in, in that case. In some countries like New Zealand, we can uh, do the registration on your behalf. 
Um, there's no two-way messaging with alphanumeric sender ID. Uh, you, it's all outbound. You can only send outbound messages. Uh, you can't receive messages. So uh, again, it's, it's customized, right? You can send an alphanumeric sender ID. You can send it and you don't have to necessarily do registration in a lot of countries. So there's no way to reply to it. Uh, it's not supported in the US and Canada, as we mentioned, and you can't reply. So we've mentioned that as well. Yep. Simon, next slide. Yeah, uh, before I actually have a very relevant question that's just come in. Uh, sure. See if you can do this one. So an alphanumeric can be sent from Australia. Will it be delivered in the US? No, no, you, you won't. It won't be delivered to the US. Yeah, there's kind of two parts to that question of sending it from Australia. I think it depends. If you do it through the Telnix API, I think we would kind of try and take care of the details. Um, yeah. We are, by the way, um, I, I work closely with our, our product lead on this, um, and we are looking at some ways to make alphanumeric even easier because we recognize that it's it's becoming a really interesting uh, space. So I hope that answers that question. 